In this video, we'll see how to use the present value function or the PV function in Excel. Let's say in this scenario, we have a payment amount of $500 per payment uh, period, which could be in this case a month. Now you can imagine such a payment situation for a car. For example, you want to make a car payment of $500 a month. Now, if you kept making a $500 payment for 12 months per year for a period of five years and at an interest rate of 4%, what will be the present value of that amount or what will be the amount that you'll have to borrow to be able to pay $500 at a 4% interest rate? So the answer to that question is provided by the PV function in Excel. Now we will enter the PV function in this cell E4 here. But before that, we need to f find out the interest rate per period. Now in our example, the period is a month because we are making this payment amount per each month. So you need to take this annual interest rate Usually interest rate is quoted annually for a 12 month period and divide that by 12. So you need to say you are dividing, take the interest rate and dividing that by the number of payments that you're making per year. Okay. The number of payments is the number of years times the number of payments per year. So we need to make 60 payments overall, 12 payments per year over the course of five years. Now we are ready to calculate the present value, which is the loan amount that we'd have to borrow to be able to make a uniform payment of $500 over 12 months every year for five years at an interest rate of 4%. So I can click the FX button here and go to financial and within the financial category, scroll to PV. Okay. And now the interest rate would be this periodic interest rate. The number of periods would be the number of periods we calculated here, 60. And the payment would be negative of the monthly payment. So if you click OK, then we are looking at a loan amount of $27,150. So if we were to borrow $27,150 at a 4% APR or interest rate, and we were to repay that over five years on a monthly basis, then we'd pay $500 per month. Or to work backwards, if we can afford to pay $500 per month for five years on a monthly basis, then we can afford to take a loan of $27,150. So that's why you'd use the PV function to calculate the total value of a series of cash flows at a particular interest rate. Conceptually, PV is nothing but the present value of all these future cash flows. Okay, so you're paying out these cash flows over the next five years. What is the present value of all that cash discounted at a 4% interest rate annually? So that is what is the present value. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.